We've got an active forecast for you over the next few days. It won't really simmer down until the weekend, so at least that's working in our favor. We'll also have quite a bit of cold air on the move towards that weekend as well. Right now, we've got very light moisture showing up on the max track. These waves have been coming through. You've got some moving out towards Moorhead, an additional batch coming in past Louisville over the past hour or so. So watch out. We'll have some occasional showers, areas of drizzle out there, and low clouds to deal with for your Wednesday. But uh, the main round of rain over to mixed precipitation and snow arcs up into the Great Lakes. We're on the southern edge of that. There's a severe risk Wednesday, western Kentucky, and it's a marginal risk. That is it for the entire continental United States. And then tomorrow, the marginal risk extends all across the viewing area except for far northern Kentucky with a slight risk across the deep south. Some of the storms that fire tomorrow morning could be on the strong side. We may have some damaging wind gusts. There is the slightest chance for isolated tornadoes. I think it'll be a better chance for severe uh, down across uh, the Carolinas. Well, upstate uh, South Carolina and back through Georgia and Alabama tomorrow. But it's something that bears watching. The future track shows the showers lifting through this morning into the afternoon. We'll probably catch a late day break. And then a warm front lifts in. One of the reasons we'll jump up to around 60 degrees tomorrow. A normal high is 42. Our record is 71, so that's not in jeopardy. Uh, but then through the morning, showers, possibly some strong storms, definitely some gusty wind. And then on the back end of that system, we'll have another round of showers, some rumbles of thunder. And then as it pulls out of here, there's still going to be just enough moisture in this colder air coming in behind it to do this. Look at that. Uh, some occasional rain and or snow showers Friday morning, some flurries, and then over to some sprinkles into the afternoon as we get into the mid to upper 30s. Uh, so, yeah, much colder and a dose of January reality there by Friday. Rainfall amounts will range anywhere from a quarter to half an inch for most, but could see some areas approaching one inch of rain. You get multiple rounds coming through. And we're also going to see that warm up and then that cool down. We're in the 40s and 30s now. Look at the wind gusts. Today, it'll be a little on the breezy side, but overnight as that front approaches and those storms fire up by tomorrow morning, and then through the day, we'll have gusts between 25 to possibly over 35 miles per hour. That'll continue as the showers and storms do the same. And then that wind will uh, still be kicking a bit Friday with those snow showers around. And then there's the unseasonable warmth. That goes away as we cool down to around normal. But look at this. Next week, another big bubble of above normal warmth building. So once we get to MLK Day and get into the 50s, we may stay in the 50s through the middle of the week. So another stretch of unseasonable warmth for this time of the year. Let's break down that rain chance by the hour today. It's most likely by late this morning into the early afternoon. Then it does look like to tape to taper off later on. And it's really just a few showers and patchy drizzle where the real rain chance gets going. Added in with the possibility of some stronger storms will be throughout the day tomorrow. So Thursday, that elevated rain chance throughout the day. If you have anything to do outside yesterday would have been the day to do it really. Uh, by Friday, it'll be colder, and that's where we'll see those scattered snow showers, flurries, possibly some sprinkles into the afternoon if we get into the upper 30s, and then we will do that Saturday. And then jump to the upper 40s Sunday by Monday, MLK Day. We're back in the 50s, well above normal, and seeing yet another, not snow, but rising rain chance as we get into early next week.